Now in this lesson we're looking at probability basics. Now let's consider this a red marble. One, two, three. Three red marbles and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven green marbles. We have three red marbles and seven green marbles there. And the question I'm going to ask is what chance of picking a red? All right, that's what probability is about. We're asking what chance something has of occurring. Well, we can see that there are three reds out of the ten marbles. So we have three chances out of ten marbles in picking the red. So therefore, P of red, okay, the probability of choosing a red, equals three chances out of ten. Three tenths. The other thing we'll consider is flipping a coin. Now when you flip a coin, you can either get a head or a tail. And we say that they both have an equal chance of occurring. So the probability of getting ahead, okay, and look at how we've written it, P and then in brackets H, that just means the probability of getting ahead equals one chance out of two. Okay, you have one chance out of the two of getting ahead. In a similar way, the probability of getting a tail is also one chance in two. So if we have one chance in two, we write that as one half. Excellent. Let's look at an example. Now we're told that a fair die is thrown and we're asked to find the probability of rolling a five. Now if you throw a die, okay, remembering that the plural of die is dice, but if we're talking about one, it's just a die. If you throw a die, what we can get, and we'll write it in set form, we can get a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, or a six. And that completes the set. So when you roll a die, that is what the results could be. So if you see them, there are six results. Six different results there. Now, let's go back to our question. Find the probability of rolling a five. Well, you can see that to roll a five, it occurs once. It only occurs once out of the six. So the probability of rolling a five equals one out of six. One sixth. Part B, find the probability of rolling an even number. Well, let's have a look. Two's an even number. So is four. So is six. So we see then, to throw an even number, we have three chances. Three chances out of the six. So probability of an even number equals three chances out of six. And this time, this fraction, three six, will break down. will cancel down. works out to be one half. So we say that we have half a chance of rolling an even number. Now we're asked to find the probability of rolling a number less than three. So number less than three, well there's three, but if we want the numbers less than three, they are in fact one and two. So the chance or probability of rolling those would be two chances out of the six results. So the probability of the number being less than three, two chances out of six. And again, this fraction will break down. It will break down to one third. Excellent. Well, that concludes our lesson on the probability basics. Good luck with your questions.